bubs. Come here. Come be in my video. Come on. Oh, eat. Come on. You're almost in the frame. You're almost in the frame. There's a puppy right here. See? You can see his ears. He's right here. Hey. Hi. He's right here. All right. Hello there, friends. Unlike a lot of my more recent videos, this video is not premeditated in the slightest. There's a bubs in here. I am in my spare room because my real room is a mess. My spare room is also a mess because I'm packing for college. Because I'm moving to college in, let's see, today's Monday. Today is Monday. I'm going to college on Friday. What the fudge sickles, am I right? My fan is on in the background. These are all the clothes that I still have to pack. I'm watching Cinema Sins, not currently. I paused it, but everything wrong with Now You See Me in 8 Minutes or Less is currently on my laptop screen. And this was not a premeditated video in the slightest, but I went to Target today and bought some things for this. This is a little kit that I decided to make to help with several things really. So this was designed to help with my tics. It was designed to help also a little bit with my anxiety. And also for, I experience a lot of physical pain, joint pain, fatigue, TMI, I know, but stuff designed to help with that as well. And it's in this little shiny gold pouch that I got for like five bucks at Target. And it can fit in my backpack. And there's also a lot of other little things that I have over here that did not fit in the pouch but are mostly stay in the room kind of things that I think would be helpful to myself and also helpful to you. So I'm going to share them with you. And I suggest that everybody makes this kind of thing, like a kind of timeout kind of kit. Even if you don't have anxiety, even if you don't have mental or physical illness, um, just because going to college is a big change and having something like this that you can fall back on is helpful for everyone. So like I said, I got this little pencil pouch from Target. It's gold. It cost like five dollars. And I got the gold one because it goes with the color scheme that I'm doing for my room. So I'm gonna unzip the little pouch and show you some of the things that are inside it. So number one, this is a Tangle Relax. It's kind of like if you know me in real life you might have seen me carrying around a bigger version of this that's purple and it's kind of like that only it's smaller so it'll be a lot more discreet and fit into the pouch a little easier and I just like this because it keeps my hands busy so if I'm having a lot of hand related tics then it keeps my hands busy and if you don't like this kind of tactile input, you might not like this one because it's rubberized, but that's really helpful to me because I can scrape at it and pick at it, and it feels good. And yeah, tangles are fun. You can get them online for like five bucks a pop. And I got a set of five on Amazon, and it's a really good deal because you get five for the cost of what buying I think four separately is so you get an extra little one. I also have um, some gum and some mints in here just because again for vocal tick kind of things this keeps me from spewing a lot of stuff and also gum is really helpful for anxiety because it's a way to trick your brain it's okay it's a weird way to kind of explain it but chewing gum tricks your brain into thinking that you're eating and the base survival level of your brain thinks that if I'm eating something then there's probably not that much danger around me now so this kinda shuts off the sympathetic nervous system and puts the parasympathetic one back in place in the same vein I have a cliff bar because I know I Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to live in the gray area when it comes to eating. I either eat nothing, forget to eat entirely, or I eat way too much. So just keeping a cliff bar in here helps if my blood sugar is getting low and whatnot. I like to keep chapstick 
because, I don't know, chapstick is something I enjoy. It smells nice, so that's something. Anything that can like bring you back down, distractions and whatnot. And speaking of distractions, I have stickers because I'm a silly head. I also have nail polish because doing some sort of focused task like painting your nails kind of forces you to calm down, slow your brain down, etc. All right, in here I've also got crayons, again in the vein of distraction, kind of like with the nail polish. I have some coloring books that I keep around the house and I don't know, having crayons is just, it brings you back to when you're a little kid, like colored pencils make you feel fancy and crayons are just like, I'm just going to color in my coloring book and have a good time. And crayons are also a lot cheaper, I got these for 50 cents today at Target. 50 cents for 24 Crayola crayons. None of that rose art shit in this house. I also have um, a little tube here that has earplugs. So sensory things can be a huge thing for me. If there's too much outside noise, it can make my anxiety and my tics a lot worse. So keeping earplugs on my person in addition to a couple other sensory tools can make me feel a whole lot better. And last but not least, uh, for the stuff that fits in the pouch at least, I've got some Play-Doh. This one just happens to be pink and sparkly because it was the only small one that they had at Target. So when I was at the New Jersey Center for Tourette's Tim Howard Leadership Academy recently, they had this big bag of sensory toys that you could take if you needed some calming influences for ticks. They had a lot of those squeezy things, they had those balls you play with in the pool, but they also had a lot of little tubs of Play-Doh. And Play-Doh is just the right consistency for me because stress toys, they're too firm. They don't do it for me. I don't know. So I keep the stress toy on hand because these things are so fun to rip. Like, that's not their intended use, but ripping at them and tearing them apart is, oh, it's so good. And Play-Doh is the best consistency for squeezing. I have a couple little tubs of Play-Doh, and I also have a couple full-size tubs of Play-Doh. So that's it for everything that fits in the bag. But other things that I'm just going to bring and keep with me, I have them scattered around here. So this is a bit obvious, but I'm going to be bringing my phone to school just because... Distractions are always a good thing, and while your parents might not like your distraction being your phone, a lot of the time if you're in the midst of a tick attack, it's just helpful to do something where you can zone out. Scrolling through Twitter, scrolling through Instagram, etc. And also music. Music as a coping technique is so great. Whether it's by playing music or just listening to music, it can be so helpful and so soothing. In a, in a similar vein, this little object is my personal journal. You're not going to get to hear anything of what's in this, because that's what personal means. But a lot of the time, if I'm having emotions, it's helpful to write them down, get them off my chest. You can kind of sort through things and then put them away forever. You never have to deal with them again. So keeping a journal is helpful. This object right here goes kind of in conjunction with the crayons. It just obviously did not fit in the pouch. It's a coloring book. It's a coloring book for grown-ups. So it's got a lot more detailed images that it'll take you a while to get through. So you can just sit there and decompress. Like... Coloring this picture alone took me a couple hours, and in the time that coloring this picture is going to take you, you're going to work through your shit. Right here, these are melatonin supplements. So if you struggle with anxiety, something else you probably deal with is insomnia. Now, I do not use these regularly and I do not recommend using them regularly. The bottle does not recommend it either. It says for short-term use to help support sleep for healthy adults who experience trouble sleeping due to interruption in normal sleep patterns. 
This is not something for regular use, but if you're just having a really bad night, can't get to sleep, there is no shame in using a supplement. This little thing is so nice. Technically, this is for infants, but what it does is it pulsates, vibrates, I don't know which is a better word, and it's it soothes babies, it makes them go to sleep, and it has the same effect on grown-ups. So you can just hold it and sit with it, and it's another sensory thing. It brings you back down to earth if you're having feelings. And it also terrifies dogs, just so you know. In a similar vein of distractions, I got a lot of books recently from the bookstore. So things like these, these are drawing and writing prompts. This can help get you out of your own head. Or something fun and engaging, like a nice graphic novel. I recommend this to everybody because it's great. Specifically for the rest of my tickers out there, although I suppose if you have anxiety and want to use this as well, go ahead, I'm not your mom. So this is a product from Lush. I am a slave to Lush. I purchase too many things from Lush. So this is a massage bar and it's got little beans. It's like just the right amount of texture. And if you have sore muscles from ticking, this has cinnamon in it and shea butter and all that jazz. And you can rub it into your skin and then it helps provide like a better base for massaging your skin. So that's really helpful, especially if you're like me and you have like a lot of repetitive motions for your tics and you need to rub muscles sometimes. I just want to say this for all the people going back to school, whether it's college or high school or anything along those lines, I know that you can do it. Your mental illness or physical illness cannot and will not hold you back. Tomorrow will be kinder. You're going to make it through this year if it kills you. And I'm wishing you the best, sending all the good vibes, and if it helps to hear it from me, I know that you can do it. Alright, peace out.